Hi, today I'm going to do a party or a prom look, just a sort of special occasion type of makeup. Very classic. It's a little bit like a Park Avenue princess type of makeup, that's what I call it anyway. Okay, now to start with, firstly, excuse my voice, I'm really sick today. I woke up with a heavy cold and um, my, my nose has just been streaming all day and I feel really tired and awful. But I kind of thought it's quite good to do it now because often over Christmas and when you're going to parties, I don't know, I often feel quite sick then. So it's a good transforming one as well. And um, it's a very beautifying makeup that I want to do. So it's perfect for how I'm looking today and feeling. Right, to start with, I've used some SK2 Perfecting Serum. Um, I saved this for my red carpet kit. It's the ultimate revival cream I keep in my kit. It's very expensive as is this serum, but um, as I say, I don't use it on myself very often. I save it for my A-list celebrities, and it really does kind of give that lovely radiant glow to the skin. I'm also gonna put on some lip balm just so it can start treating my really dry lips before I get to my lips. I'm gonna use this Rituals one, which is Eve's Kiss. I'm gonna put plenty of that on, actually. Uh, a little bit too much, but I'll take it off later once the rest of the makeup is done. Okay, so for my base, I'm going to use the Bourjois Healthy Mix Serum Foundation, and this is packed with vitamins, and it's all about radiance boosting, and it's a 16-hour long wear one as well, so it's perfect for a night out. I'm going to apply it with a foundation brush. I'm really actually going to rub it in quite a bit as well, because I want to get that completely perfect skin and I'm all blotchy today. So I'm starting in the center of my face and just working out. I'm gonna have foundation all over my skin but I want it really thin around the outer edges. So it's a good layer all over. I even put a little bit on my neck as well. If I was going to a party, I'd wanna be everything perfect. Okay, so next I'm going to use highlighter before I do my concealer. I'm going to use Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Pearl, the lightest one. I'm just going to blend it on the back of my hand first. So all onto the high points. I'm also going to use it down the centre of my nose and above my top lip. So next I'm going to blend that in with my concealer. I'm going to use Light Reflective Concealer first. This is the Coro's Wild Rose. And I need to use quite a bit of this because I'm quite dark today. I'm just going to blend this in. I'm just going to pat it into place because I need it quite light there. Just in the inner corner. And you don't want to put too much of this on, especially if you're going to be photographed which you obviously are at a prom or a party. So go easy on the light reflection and don't use too much of this under the eyes. You just don't need it. It doesn't look natural in real life or in photographs. So just a little bit. If you need a bit more coverage, use something with a little bit more weight to it that's not light reflector, but you can mix it in with um, just like a regular concealer, not a light reflective one. If you want to be extra sure, if you just use a small amount, and then using like a regular concealer, I'm going to use the um, Laura Mercier one. Put a little bit of that on the back of your hand, and then just blend over the light reflective, just to tone it down a bit, and make sure that it's really thin at the edges, so it's not going to catch the light too much. And then using the non-light reflective concealer, just smooth out that whole area. And be really careful what sort of highlighter you use to... This one I know photographs really well, but some of them are just too glittery or too shimmery. You can see them on the skin. And you can always do a picture of yourself before you go out. Or if you have a run through of a makeup and just check with flash that it looks okay. I think the less you put on, the better it actually looks. So you just want a nice subtle sheen. So next I'm going to do some pinpoint concealing, so again using my non-light reflective, quite heavy duty concealer, my Laura Mercier. And to make sure that your concealer is really blended in, if you've got 
a blemish and you want to cover it over. Just sort of stipple all around the area as well. So not just on the actual spot. Then you can use a clean buffing brush and just blend it in so it's seamless. Because things that you don't notice like that, you might see in flash. So rather than have a perfect circle on the whatever it is of concealer, put it on, stipple around and then blur the edges. It works really well. So next I'm going to do my blusher because I want to use cream blusher and I want to create really expensive looking skin and for expensive looking skin we want everything to be totally seamless and beautifully applied so um, base is already on, seamless highlighting, very subtle highlighting, seamless concealing that's all been blended in and now cream blusher. I'm going to use number six in the Makeup Forever HD blush because it's a really warm pink. But I'm going to mix it with this super peachy shade by Gosh, um, which is a nice cream blush. I'm going to mix those two together. Not too much, just a little bit on the back of my hand. I'm going to use my foundation brush. I'm going to start on the apple of the cheeks and then blend it from there. And again, hardly touching the skin, very light pressure, so that we really get those edges blended in. You don't, if you start pushing hard, you'll streak everything, you move everything around if you don't want to do. So really almost not touching the skin, thinking about taking those edges off. So once you've done that and got all your edges, you can go back and add a little bit more colour onto the high point of the cheek. So you get a little bit more intensity, sort of high up. So now I'm going to powder. I'm just going to use the Chanel Natural Finish Loose Powder. And this is great because it hasn't got any shimmer in it. I don't advise using any shimmery powders at all. They're just going to be too much in flash. So something really natural like an invisible powder. Silica powder is a bit tricky. Unless you're really brilliant at applying it, I wouldn't use it if you're going to be photographed in flash. I'd stick to the more translucent, totally natural finish ones. Now before I do that, I just want to make sure that everything is seamless. You can use a Q-tip. If you have any, even just go over the top of your concealer under your eyes and make sure it's really smooth and also you always take off a little bit as well. Never kind of keep adding more because we want it to look really natural. Then I'm just going to start to buff the natural finish powder all over my skin but I'm going to concentrate around, for me anyway, because my skin is combination. If your skin's drier, you probably won't need as much powder, if any. Okay, so the only place I'm not going to put powder is just here, or right at the top of my cheekbone and around my eyes there. I'm going to bring it everywhere else, lightly swirled on. So onto eyes, I'm going to put a little bit of NARS primer on. Just smooth that over. And next, if you need to, if you have a sort of uneven skin tone, just use a whatever flesh colour suits you um, base. So it could be a cream, just a cream eyeshadow. I'm not even going to bother with that. I'm going to go straight into shading my eyes. I'm going to use this Ico Fat Stick. And this is a really sweet colour. I love the colour. I don't even, I'm not sure what it is. I'm going to start to use that just in my socket line. And this is nice and easy to use. And I'm just going to really trace that right along my socket line. If you've got darker skin, use something with a bit more colour in it, otherwise this will show up a bit too silvery. And then I'm going to blend that in a little bit. I'm also going to use a little bit of this underneath, just under the lash line, right from the inner corner. So it's got a lovely sparkle. Next I'm going to use Avon Super Shock Gel Eyeliner Pencil in black. I'm just going to use that to line 
along the lashes on the top. I'm also going to use it on the upper waterline. Next I'm going to use these Eyelaw lashes. These are the Cheryl Girls Allowed ones. I'm just going to curl my eyelashes and apply some mascara. This is Avon Super Shock Mascara. And then just dropping the lashes into place. So while the glue's drying, I'm going to add some individual flared lashes. These are mediums. Because the thing you can always do, and what I like to do with um, full sets of lashes, is that they're often qu not quite exactly how you want them. Either you'd like them longer at the outer corner, or you'd like to sort of thicken them up a bit. So the best thing to do is just buy a sort of basic set, get them as close to the ones that you think you like as possible. And then with your individuals, you can thicken up the outer corner, or you can thicken them up all the way across, or change the shape of them quite dramatically. It's also a good way to use up all the medium and long ones that are left in the box if you have one of those multi-pack ones and you don't often use the, the longer ones. So now that the glue's almost dry with the individuals and the full set of lashes, I'm going to go back in with this pencil and just blend in that lash line. I don't want to make the line really thick, I just want to make sure it looks really blended. So I'm going to use the little brush again. And I don't want a winged liner with this look. I want to keep it quite, I don't want it to go 50s. So just bring it to the end and just blend it naturally at the end. And also at the inner corner, it needs to be blended in. And underneath, I want to sort of create some fake lashes to thicken up. So I'm going to do a few dots. A few sort of long dots, so a little bit like eyelashes. I'm going to do about three or four. Just there, so you get the impression of extra lashes there. Or just thicker lashes, I should say. So next I'm going to do my brows, and I just want them to look nice and refined. I'm just going to fill them in, not too heavy. I'm going to use a Suku powder. Get a nice bit of height. So next onto my lips, and take off a little bit of the balm. So they're quite moist now. And I'm going to use this MAC lip pencil in Subculture, all over. Just to really colour them in and also to create a bit more shape. And now I'm going to use a little bit of the high def blusher that I use, the Make It Forever. It's just left on my back of my hand. And pat that on top. I finish off with some gloss, Revlon gloss in Peony. Which has got a pretty peachy pink. So that's the finished look, and I think it's like the perfect evening party or prom look. I've teamed it with a really understated nail. This is Butter London, it's called Nail Foundation, and it's a base coat, it's a beige matte base coat that they do, but I really like it to keep this look completely chic and, and lovely. Um, so yeah, I hope you like it. I, I love this kind of makeup. I just think it's really beautifying and it suits absolutely everyone. Um, so thanks for watching.